this deep dive podcast. I'm your host, Gamer Anton D. We are going to talk about how to improve the Detroit Pistons. I'm going to talk about the bench and who I'm impressed with. I'm impressed with Killian Hayes, Hamayu Diallo, and Alex Brooks. Killian Hayes, I'm impressed with is just because he is more confident and he what he does in defense. I'm really impressed by him and I hope that he continues it. And with Hamayu Diallo, I'm just like he's just my favorite player and and then he's improving too. So like he's like consistently shooting twos and three pointers. So I hope that one day he does that consistently. And about Alex Burks, um, I know he only played one game with us, but I'm impressed with what he brings on the table. The shooting and the other stuff he does, I'm really impressed by it. And now I'm going to talk about how to improve this bench just a little bit more. I think you can improve it. You can improve this team in the free agency or the trading deadline. So basically, the free agency, it's just because the market right now, I think there's still a lot of good players that is available and you can pick up them. But first, it's just because, like, if the Pistons don't pick up any players, I'm okay with because there's some players that don't want to play in Detroit and they just want to go there just to just get the bag and that's it. And if no one wants to be here, I'm okay if no uh, if the Pistons don't pick up anybody in free agency right now. The reason why I picked the trading deadline then trade now is just basically I think in the trading deadline it's like basically a lot of players are available uh, available in the trading deadline than right now. And yeah, that's it for the bench and now we're going to move on to the starter the starting lineup. I am impressed by the starting lineup so far. My only issue it is Isaiah Stewart. He is really good, but I think I want him to be a, like a Green Mon Green type of player that he can play power forward because because if we face up the Phoenix Suns or the Cleveland Cavaliers, he's kind of undersized. So that's why I want him to be a power forward and the starting center to be Durin. Since Durin is it is he is very good right now. I'm very impressed by him and what he brings to the table with rebounding and blocking shots and dunking the ball. I'm just very impressed by that. So I want him to be the starting center and I want to see what he he and Isaiah Stewart brings in the table right now. So yeah. And I want to see Isaiah Stewart be more a little bit more offensively to help the team in the just just the offense. He just need to help the team in the offense, and I'll be very happy about Isaiah Stewart. And now we're gonna talk about the coaching. So I think Dwayne Casey isn't the future coach for this team, and I have some candidates that I want to talk about. So my candidates are Frank Vogel, Scott Brooks, and David Fisdale, plus a young coach. So first, I'm going to talk about the young coach. Just basically, the young coach, I just want him there just because he's a young coach. He might can get along with the players. Um, like, uh, I'm sorry. He can get along with the players better than maybe like an old coach or something like that. I want like, and then I want a young coach with some experience at least. And I'm happy by that. About the other coaches that I talked about, Frank Vogel, Scott Brooks, and David Fisdale, it's just defensively, the defensive reasons only. Because I think if you bring one of them, I think our defense will be improving. And yes, probably our offense be, like, our offense is bad, but it's still okay. But you can bring, like, an assistant coach who, who is really good at offense. Like, you know, setting plays and that stuff. And you can bring that guy in to help Frank Vogel or Scott Brooks or David Fisdale. So, yeah. That's it for this podcast. If you guys like this podcast, hit the like button. If if you're a new person, hit the subscribe button. Because I will do more podcasts like this. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.